Hi, I'm Peter Haddock in a field with Paul Bradshaw. Paul, I know we've been connected for a long time on LinkedIn and uh, you are the owner of Bradpave and you are also the owner of this machine behind us, this brand new Liebherr. It's got a steel wrist on it. It's got machine control from Leica Geosystems. You've invested a lot of money in this, Paul. Why? Why have you spec'd it up like this? What's going on? Just to get my production up from where it has been over the last couple of years. I've been running GPS for three years, tilt rotators for five years, so I know the numbers work. Gone up to 35 tonnes to work with some heavier equipment and the drainage that we do. More power just to boost production. And we're on a site here, you're going to have to build some ponds and you're also going to have to build a huge shed here. So there's a lot of groundworks, isn't there? It's all about getting that productivity, filling these big buckets, isn't it? So tell me, what do you think the difference is going to be with this machine and, and, and how that's going to help yourself as a business? I can basically leave the driver to it. It needs no banksman. It can just load the trucks, away he goes. When we end up with the deep excavations, we've got the GPS for line level. We don't need any input from, en from the engineers, apart from the occasional check, just for peace of mind. The machine can send as built directly to the office as it's being done. The automatics will also aid us in banking the machine in deep excavations where the driver can't see the bottom. Because he, he can just pull to grade with the trench with the automatic. You've really hit on the automatics benefit because the fundamental thing is it costs you money if you get things wrong, doesn't it? So you, you can get a model, you can see how it all works, but obviously you've got to have a skilled operator that knows how to work all of this together. And so if you can do that and do something where you haven't got line of sight, you know you're going to not have to do that rework. I'm a big believer in trying to get the best kit to do the job available to me. And that's why I've gone for what I've gone for. Steel wrist, excellent backup. The Leica, you just switch it on in the morning. It works every day. Got the telematics. If you have a problem, they can sort it out there and, and the, the Lieber backup's second to none. There's also a little first here, Paul. I mean, small business, you've made a big investment yeah. and you've got a first, not just a UK first, but a global first. This is the first time, folks, this setup has been put on a 934 new Liebherr excavator with the automatic system, with the steel wrist connected in. And it's all because this is the first factory fitted unit for the Leica machine control yeah. so you've got it from the factory coming here and then you're literally plugging and playing in and calibrating the other elements and you're, you're, you're ready to go Paul aren't you? Yeah 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 usual shelf life of your cabling when it's been fitted on site is a lot less than a factory fit so issues further down the line regarding cables connections that shouldn't have happened at all. You know. And when you're talking like you did earlier about those deep excavations where you can't see the bucket and things like that, but you're having the automatics help you with that, obviously that's again no more snagging of cables because they, the way in which they're built in. That's right. So, you know, this is a real big difference here with the way in which Liebherr have come together with Leica Geosystems, but also in the way in which the Steel Wrist team has done a bespoke setup for you as well to plug into that, isn't it? And they've set up the joysticks, there's new controls in there, isn't there? Tell me about them. Yeah, that, that's the, the first S80 Steel Wrist in the UK. We've made a, a big investment in new attachments, moving up size-wise yeah. and for them to be able to take the power of the machine and the rotation the tilt all works perfectly and that's because folks it's all combined with power more powerful hydraulics more powerful digging power and also you yourself said to me paul and i think this is really important when i spoke to paul yesterday where we're coming to site you said to me if you can't do it yourself you wouldn't expect anybody else to do it. Now that's important, isn't it? Because we need skilled operators to be able to operate this. You know, we're yeah. not talking about people that are just coming in to the community. You need a skilled operator, don't you? And, yeah. and you say, I'm gonna prove that it works first. I'm gonna be there to support my operators. Why is that important that we have these sort of skilled operators and that kind of attitude in the industry, Paul? Well, as a small business, 
everything has to work right first time, like you said before. And I don't need to be spending my time teaching the operator. I've got an operator that I've brought in that's worked with tilt rotators, that's worked with GPS. He's jumped straight in the machine and he's first class. And for me to be five or six meters down a trench, I don't need to be keep telling him what to do. The, the kid knows what he's doing. And he's a young operator, folks, as well, and that's what we want. Yeah, yeah he's only 30 years old and he's class. And so that's the message here from Paul. He's a small business, but he's made a hell of an investment. And Paul, you know, I wish you all the best with this. This is a major project. It's a big, big win for you, this. But it's a real proving ground as well, isn't it, for this technology and how you can make that commercially work for yourself, but also your customer. You're going to be finished here way sooner than expected with all this extra power and, and, and versatility, aren't you? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. All the best with everything you've got here. And it's starting to take shape already, folks. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank you.